Hey everybody, this is Jesse with Hunt Training. Today we are talking about the grip mods on the Project CZP08 right now. Right now. <laughs> Jesse with Hunt Draining here today with my wife Lene, and we are talking about the CZP08 project. But first, before we get started, we do have a website. First link in the description. If you hit that first link in the description, that's how you support the channel monetarily. You go there, you buy those products, they kick back a little bit of money for us, so we can go to the range and keep shooting cool guns. If not, the link below that project, the uh, website will be posted there, and then the link below that will be the blog post for this. Pistols, so go check those out. Also, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter will be linked below, as well as some other things that I'll throw in there. Anyway, guys, CZP08 Project Part 1. I just went ahead and I just hacked the grip off to CZP07 link. This is a CZP09. I hacked the grip off to CZP07 link. I went to the range and shot it. You guys really liked that video. So, of course, obviously, the next thing is to spend the money, send it off, and have a professional take their time and do the work on the grip. So I chose to send it to Valhalla Customs. And when I was first talking about doing this project where I cut the grip down on a, on a pistol, I actually tagged him in the comment the first like time I thought about this over a year ago doing this project. And I finally was able to start the project and get the, get the frame to him. Full disclosure, I paid for this frame. I got, he did give me a discount, not a huge discount, but he did give me a discount. And I want to thank Matt with Valhalla Customs for doing that for me, but I did pay for this frame, and end, at the end of it, we have $400 in the framework between shipping, him doing the work, and shipping to return back. So this is a very high-end texture. So what he did is I chose the basket weave texture, uh, his premium package with the board, recess boards all the way around. He also, up there front, did the uh, memory pads, or whatever you like to call them. But uh, uh, it was quite a uh, journey, but we are super, happy with the product. Even my wife is happy with the product. So my wife is super, like super high end stuff. And she's like, she loves stuff that looks good. She doesn't want it to look cheap. And when I pulled it out of the box and showed her, I first showed her the texture and she's like, yes, that'll be awesome. And then I sent it off, spent all the money and you know, she's like, oh, what's going on? And then I pulled out of the box and handed it to her and she was pretty excited. I love it. It it's looks quality work. Very... I mean, you were looking at that one guy, and he did shitty work. Like <laughs> we didn't even have to send anything off. Like it is quality. Um, CZ, no offense. I love your gun. Yeah, no, it would, it no. would look better on a DB. I wish we would have put it on my Diamondback pistol. She is so biased toward Diamondback, and I was told her not to say anything about that in this video because CZ fans are gonna I love watch. CZ. This. Okay, then good. I'm she a still loves CZ. But, but I'm just saying it would look better on a DB. But anyway, Matt, Valhalla, she's saying you did a good job. It, and how, first off, I don't, okay, I usually shoot stock guns, like, right? I, mm -hmm. I, my pistols are all pretty much stock. Like, little things here and there, like some sights or a flashlight, but I shoot stock pistols. So spending the money to get the frame done is almost sacrilegious for me because I'm a tight wad and I'd rather just go buy another gun than spend the money on the framework. But it's true. I'm very glad I did because this is super high quality. And it looks like, you know, it'd be pretty rough. Like you guys will see the inset footage and the and the photos. It looks like it would be really rough. But I liked it. It made it easier to shoot. Like yes. Not, it just it's, it was comfortable. It's very comfortable. It's really mm -hmm. easy to get a hold of and it grabs a hold of you when you get grab a hold of it, but it's not overly aggressive. Like it doesn't hurt to shoot it. Mm -hmm. No, it feels really good in your hand. Like it, it, it feels like it's holding on to you, and you're not really holding on to it. It's kind of awesome. So honestly. in this whole video, what you're trying to say is that Matt, please give him a bigger discount so he can send more guns to you. No, or Matt, me. I don't I mean, want so a bigger discount. I'll pay for it. I don't. Out of my pocket. 
I, I'll pay for it. You can talk we to her know later. You can whose talk. Pocket it's coming out. Oh, of. let's be oh, real. Oh, Ladies it's coming out of your me. pockets. Thank you for supporting no. the channel. Oh, we broke 200 subscribers too. Woo! Thank you, subscribers. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe. You guys are awesome. Keep doing it. But I did get the opportunity to carry this gun for a couple days before uh, I we are filming this video, and I did care. I do carry an appendix, so it does up against the skin it didn't irritate my skin at all not any more than my stocks p10c or this gun stock it didn't bother my skin so it is super high quality at the range how did it feel like she said it's easy to get a hold of uh the gun shoots good like i said it's flat it stays planted in your hand even better than it did before um but it you know the the uh the framework only enhanced the uh the the range time like it made it more fun like it's just cool it's cool. It looks very good. Good job, Matt. Valhalla Customs. You got a lot of compliments on it. Highly, you? highly yeah. recommended. Yeah, and everybody that's been looking at it that's been over to the house, I've had a couple friends look at it, and they're just like, wow, that looks cool. So the basket weave texture is awesome. Uh, definitely probably going to be sending some more products to Matt to get done. Anyway, guys, uh, Jesse with Hunt Training. Obviously, we've got the frame done, and I said we're doing a full pistol build. So the next thing is we're going to send the slide off, and uh, it'll get cut for a dot, and we'll get some fancy work done. I'm excited to get the slide cut because we will be putting a couple windows in here to lighten the slide up a little bit. So and so I think it'll balance even better than it already does. But uh, it's been a super fun project so far, and we're excited to keep it going because you know it looks good. Let's make it look better. I like shooting. She likes shooting. And it was nice. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks for tagging along with our goofy video review of the framework. Matt at Valhalla Customs. Definitely highly recommend. I'll link his Instagram below. Um, and I'll also, if, if he has a, I'm not sure if he has a, if he has a website, I'll link it below as well. Uh, if not, we will. Uh... Are you going to shave for the next video? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, guys, Jesse with Hunt Training. My wife joined us today. Lene, would you like Sorry, to see her more videos? You would comment down below. <laughs> Hit that like button, subscribe, all that great stuff. Our channel is growing, and we are super Please excited. Say no. <laughs> we are super excited because we have the chance to continue to share information with you guys. Get out to the range and train. Become a hard target because the world's evil, and you need to know how to protect yourself and your lovely wife. We'll see you guys I later. I can protect myself. See you guys. You want to shut the camera off now?